What's up guys, Shane Starnes here. Spring is just around the corner and if you're looking for a solar generator or portable power supply to power up your camping trips, your beach trips, and all of your other outdoor adventures, I may have the perfect solution for you. With features like LifePo 4 batteries, 11 ports to charge all of your devices simultaneously, and even an 1800 watt power surge feature, this is definitely one of the most impressive solar generators at 600 watts that I've had an opportunity to use. We're gonna take an in-depth look at the Ampace P600. Big shout outs to Ampace for sponsoring this video. Let's go ahead and get started. First up, let's go ahead and get this out of the box and see what all we're working with. Right up top, we have the user manual. Next up, we have the P600. It looks like they sent over the vintage brown. I think that looks really sharp. They've also got mystic green and metal gray, but I really do like this vintage brown color. It's even got the color on the handle. That paired with the silver around the frame, I think that looks really sharp. We've got a few accessory boxes here. Let's see what's in these accessory boxes. Okay, it looks like we have a charge cord here for your car, and then a standard AC charge cord. Let's see what's in this box. All right, and there's our AC adapter for the power supply. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the P600. First off, I feel like this is pretty well built. It's nice and sturdy. I love that it has a handle up top, which even though it has significant weight, this is going to be pretty portable and easy to carry around. Up top here, we do have an LED light with several different modes. If we press the button here, it can go from dim to bright to brighter. And then there's even an emergency SOS mode there as well. If your car breaks down or something like that, you can put this behind your car to alert other people that uh, you were broken down on the side of the road to make yourself more visible. That's only putting out about five watts in the brightest mode. All right, you do have your DC input there for your charging. You've also got two DC outputs here. You've got a 60 watt USB-C port and three USB-A ports with two of those being 12 watt. One of those is 18 watt. With the USB-2 output here, you should be able to fast charge your devices. And of course, with the USB-C port, you're gonna be able to charge devices, even your MacBook Pro or your other laptop without having to carry around your charge brick. So that's definitely a great feature there. We have two AC outlets here with a maximum output of 600 watts. These can support a surge of up to 1200 watts and the entire power station can support loads of up to 1800 watts with the A turbo feature. Another thing that's very interesting here is this is one of the only smaller power stations that I've seen with these options here. You have a jump starter option. You can actually pick up a jump starter cable set from Ampace for only $29.99, and you're gonna be able to jumpstart your car in zero seconds. So I love that feature, that is definitely a plus. You can even jumpstart your car in very cold weather thanks to the LifePo4 batteries. And then you also have an option here for extended battery. So you can purchase a second battery and connect these to extend the watt hours of charge time for this unit. With the LCD screen, it does give you a ton of information here. It's gonna give you the capacity on the battery. It's gonna give you the wattage that's being output currently. It's gonna tell you which one of your outlets are currently powered up. So I've got my type C and my USB powered up, plus my AC outlets are powered up. When we push the button, that goes away. And then it does tell you how many hours this battery will last under the current load. So I love that it has all of that information right there on the LCD screen. All right, so taking a look at the sides here, you just have your ventilation and your fans. If we look at the back, you just have more information about the unit itself. And then on the bottom, you've got rubber feet to keep this from sliding around. So first things first, I really wanna get into the juicy details of this A Turbo 1800 watt power surge feature. So this is a 600 watt power supply and it functions great with any device that needs less than 600 watts. This can power up any device up to 1200 watts with the surge feature and can power up to 1800 watts when using multiple devices 
with the A Turbo feature. The way that A Turbo works is it's actually going to regulate the wattage of the device you're using down to a safe level and keep it going. If you have a device that has strict wattage needs and especially like tools and instruments for measuring, this is not going to work for those. In my testing, I was able to run a microwave. It did down regulate the wattage and instead of heating up an item for one minute, I had to heat it up for two minutes. But in the end, I had plenty of power to use my microwave to heat up frozen foods, which is a major deal. This is also going to work with other high wattage devices like hair dryers. I tested out two hair dryers and both of these worked perfectly on the Ampace P600. This also worked great with my coffee maker, which has an included bean grinder up top, which is great for me because if you know me, I can't really get by in the mornings without my coffee. With it being springtime, you're probably ready for some spring cleaning and with the A Turbo feature, you're gonna have enough power surge to power up even a very strong vacuum cleaner. And even if you don't consider the A Turbo feature, 600 watts is a lot of power. It's probably more power than you would think. I was able to totally power up my whole gaming setup here with a high powered gaming PC that features a 3060 graphics card, an i5 processor, tons of fans, and my 49 inch oversized monitor plus this electronic standing desk with two motors and all of my lighting. I was able to power all of that up and it was less than 600 watts. So 600 watts is a ton of power. This also did a great job of powering up power tools and other outdoor equipment like this hedge trimmer. I was even able to power up my shop light to give my shop plenty of light during the evening. And this was able to power up a box fan at the same time to keep the air nice and circulated in the shop. Another thing that really stands out about the Ampace P600 is that it does include LifePo 4 batteries. This is a hybrid solution, and if you really want a power supply that's going to last, then this is definitely a great option. You're gonna be able to get up to 2,000 charge cycles on this unit, which means you're gonna be able to potentially use this for six plus years. In the owner's manual, it also specifies that you're able to get up to 1000 charge cycles and still maintain 70% capacity. So yeah, this is going to last for a long time. You're gonna be able to totally charge it and deplete it every single day for up to six or seven years. This really makes this a great option if you're trying to power up devices in an RV or like a camper situation or a place where you're gonna be using it for a long time. Another great thing about the LifePo4 hybrid battery is that it's stable at lower temperatures. So you can power up all of your devices in temperatures as low as negative four degrees Fahrenheit, which is definitely another great feature. Another thing that I really like about the Ampace P600 is it does have an option for a jump start for your car. I haven't seen that on any other solar generator or power station at 600 watts, it does require a $30 accessory uh, for the jumper cables, but there's a spot where you can just plug that in and you get a zero second start. So for emergency situations, especially if you're like on a road trip or something like that, this would be a great thing to have in case your car breaks down, you're not having to wait on a good Samaritan to help you out with a jump start, you're able to get that taken care of on your own. This does come with 11 different power outlets and you can charge up to 11 devices at the same time. With the A Turbo, you have up to 1800 watts of surge power to play with there. You could potentially power up multiple appliances as well. The Ampace P600 features a 584 watt hour battery and what all can you do with that much power? This allows you to get 12 and a half hours of CPAP use, 12 drone charges, 30 camera charges, 42 cell phone charges and seven full laptop charges. When I tested my microwave, I would have been able to get about two and a half hours of use out of my microwave and about the same amount of use out of my hair dryer. There are four ways to charge this. You can charge this with an extra battery. There's actually a port there to connect a secondary battery. You can also charge this with an AC outlet with the included AC adapter and you're gonna be able to fully charge this from zero to 100% in about six and a half hours. You can charge this with 
with a 100 watt solar panel. You'll be able to do that in about eight hours depending on the weather. And you can charge this with the included car charger. It takes about 10 hours to fully charge this with your car. When charging your devices, the Ampace P600 provides pure sine wave electricity, reducing the electronic noise. This can help to protect your devices, allowing them to last longer. Overall, if you're looking for a super portable 600 watt solar generator with extra features like the A Turbo for up to 1800 watts of power surge, then this is definitely a great option. I'll be sure to include links in the description of where you can pick up your Anpace P600. That about wraps it up for this video. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.